Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? What's up? How's everybody doing? It's me, Mr. Forky Upscaler. So, let's talk about the difference between a cheap cloth projector screen versus a premium grade screen projector for hundred dollars that actually keeps the light contained in front of the screen and I'm gonna talk about that here for a little bit a uh, couple of things people always forget when it comes to projectors it's beaming a light it's projecting a light it's carrying a light beam okay array of lights and those array of lights they have to land onto the screen or whatever it is that you're projecting to so remember the reason they call it a projector because you're projecting a light of moving image of screen into the whatever it is the surface that you're projecting it to now in this case we got ourselves a spandex cloth which is a very cheap uh 20 bucks 15 bucks very cheap uh cloth now it's the same cloth that they're using in a movie cinema however the difference here is this cloth doesn't have any black uh cover behind it to catch the light and contain the light okay and when you don't have a anything behind it to catch the light and keep the light and contain the light kind of like a barrier so that the light doesn't pass through when you don't have anything behind it to stop the light from passing through well this is what happens what happens is you get a 3d effect you get the light passing through so now the light is passing through onto the wall and that's not a good thing and here's the reason why it's not a good thing that means that you're losing about 20 percent of the quality that this 4k hdr projector can produce so that way you are losing some quality you're not getting that 100 percent quality that you need as you can see uh the light is still projecting right there you can see uh the yellow uh yellow car that just passed by this is a captain america uh the first avengers captain america 4k hdr on the disney plus and uh, a lot of people don't seem to realize this you know, if you're a home, home theater enthusiast, you know about this, you're familiar with this. But for those of you who are not familiar with this, this is the, the one issue and problem you're going to have when it comes to these cheap cloth projector screens. And this is why I don't really recommend them. Now, there is a way to work around this. You can actually um, measure 120 inch and put some black cloth behind it to stop it from passing through. However, however, uh, it's still, it's going to cost you more money to do that, to customize that, than when you can just go ahead and purchase a uh, premium $100 projector screen, 120 inch, 60 by 9, that opens up and closes this. Uh, I'll talk about this one specific projector screen. I'll talk about this one specific projector screen. Uh, next next week which is 120 inch actually bigger than this 120 inch and what it does basically it stops the light from passing through the cloth means it, it contains it so it doesn't go anywhere it stays there it catches the light and keeps it there contained it's like a barrier behind the cloth that stops the light from passing through and it's only hundred bucks. Uh, you guys are gonna love this screen uh, screen projector. I'm gonna do a review on it. I already tested it in Magnolia. Trust me, this is something you have to special order through Amazon. I'm gonna talk about it next week when I do the unboxing and set it up and everything. And this projector screen, it's definitely something I'm going to recommend. And it's worth hundred dollars. Trust me, guys, it's worth every penny. I know you're gonna say, but maybe it's too expensive. Okay, but trust me, 120 inch for $100 and the fact that you're going to have a pretty good uh, picture quality from your projector, I think that's going to be worth every penny in my opinion. But I'll talk about that on my next video next week. What I just want to emphasize here is the fact that this is why, you know, when it comes, when it comes to these cheap, cheap cloth uh, projector screens, they're really not that good because they're not catching all that light and keeping it in front 
they're passing through the cloth onto the wall or whatever it is that's, uh, even if you're in the backyard, whoever's behind you is going to be having uh, some of these images projected onto them. So, um, like I said, the reason this sucks is because it doesn't have any black cloth behind it to contain that light, to keep that light and stop it from passing through so it can stay right here. Now, don't get me wrong, it is still watchable. I'm not saying that you cannot watch like this. <laughs> you know, of course you can watch it like this and you probably wouldn't know any different if you're not an expert on projectors, if you don't understand how this whole projectors uh, technology works and what type of uh, screen do you need. Obviously, you're not gonna know any different. You're gonna think this is uh, how it should be. This is normal. Uh, so that's why I'm making this video, just to kind of emphasize a little bit on that. And like I said, it looks good. But remember, you're still losing that 20% of picture quality that this projector can do. This is a 4K BenQ HDR projector. And you can, in order for you to get that proper uh, full 100% quality of what this projector can do, it's going to really depend on the, on the projector screen. Project, projector screen is going to be probably the most important part besides you buying a projector because if you truly want to take the advantage of that projector you got to have a really good projector screen and uh, this next projector screen that I'm going to do next week I think you guys are going to love it can't wait to show it to you uh, I will talk more about it uh, once I do the unboxing it's $100 but it's definitely worth it I don't want to talk about it right now because I want to talk about it once I get it and once I unbox it, once I set it up, then I'll leave a link down below. Then I'll let you guys know where you can get it, where you can buy it, etc, etc, etc. Okay, but the whole emphasis of this video, the whole emphasis of this video is for me just to show you that, uh, yes, cheap <laughs> cloth that's like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, uh, it's still going to do its job i mean you're still gonna see a moving image when you turn off the lights and everything i mean you're still gonna enjoy your projector but you're not getting that 100 percent of quality that your projector can do because a lot some people are asking me man i got this projector and it's supposed to be really good but uh, i have this cloth white screen you know and it's really, I feel like it's bleak and it's not giving me that contrast ratio. The reason you're not getting that contrast ratio, it's because the light is passing through. The projection light is passing through, through the cloth, to do whatever is behind it. So, this is why you got to have a really good uh, projector screen. And, uh, but again, we're talking about budget, you know. This is what you get when you purchase something that's 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Don't expect it to be uh, like premium quality that you would normally get with something much better. But don't worry, I got you covered. I don't mean to sound like some cheap salesman, but I got you covered. And I'm going to show you the best projector screen for $100. Not only is it easy to open and close, you can hide it. Uh, you can take it with you. It's 120 inch, but it also contains all that light into the screen. So that way you don't lose any light whatsoever, any contrast ratio whatsoever. So I'm going to help you guys out on that next week. And like I said, I'm also going to be working on Vivi Bright. And I still have uh, two more projectors that I want to do. Um, that I want to do comparison comparisons between the uh, between these two projectors I'll talk about it on the video um, they're basically bow maker projectors portable projectors they're both 720p native but they upscale to 1080p the difference is one is the upgraded version that has a brighter lumens and a bit better contrast ratio than the other but they're both similar it's just that one is brighter and has a higher contrast ratio but I'll talk about that on my next video. All right, guys. Well, there you go. I hope this video helps you out, gives you some idea as to what type of uh, screen projector you should get, etc., etc., etc. Gives you some idea and some tips. I hope you like it. Enjoy. I'll see you uh, on the next video. Take care.